Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below. If you want to get access to some of my free online swing dance courses, check out that link in the description. Right now, I'm gonna be taking a look at a video from Savoy Cup 2022. It looks like it is an advanced Jack and Jill finals. Now, you all know this is a format where you have a lead and a follower. They get together and they improvise, usually to a live band. We'll see. I can't wait to give you guys my opinion on who I think is the winner of this competition right after this. All right, here we go. Savoy Cup advanced Jack and Jill. I love the advanced level. They're like blue belts in jujitsu. All right, here we go. We got the names of the dancers and where they're from. Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I like these rounds, they're fast. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is going to get ugly, folks, real fast. Everybody's politely clapping behind them, but uh, we all know what they're, what they're thinking. Everybody's thinking we got to up our game because everybody is swinging really hard here. It's like round two. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. 
sir. up into the sky. Watch your hair, folks. Ooh, let's talk about this one. This is going to be good. <laughs> All right, guys, you know me. If you've tuned into this channel long enough, you know I love talking about facts and truth. And the truth of the matter is that 95% of swing dancing is subjective. All these years of judging competitions and performing, it has made it a reality to me that most of it is subjective. And when you get to a certain level of dance, most of the dancers who are performing, when you look at competitions of this nature, they are well past that fact aspect of Lindy Hop. They can do the facts those very objective things that make swing dancing identifiable and good. They all are pretty equal at this level. And so now I have to do something I rarely do. I, I don't like to talk about my personal preferences that much, but in this case, I have to do that. I'm looking at really great dancing and I gotta just tell you my own personal proclivities and my bias and what I like and what I don't like. And so this one was really, really tight between two couples. And I mean tight in a sense that these two couples could go for second place or first place, just depending on what mood I'm in at that time. And so obviously you, you guys know me, the timing, control, and creativity aspects of judging are the three components that ground my judging. And so I'm always looking for the couples that can nail those three attributes, right? And so all of these dancers have the control part. So at minimum, all of them are at third place. <laughs> That's the way I would look at them. They all have great, great control of the technique. Now, some of them have better timing in terms of what they are physically doing uh, to the music. Sometimes you could do certain moves to music that might be a little bit more complicated, but because the moves aren't placed in the right spot, you can barely appreciate that as a viewer. And so as a judge, I have to keep that into account. You know, did I feel something? Did I feel something emotionally when they moved to that part of the music? And so, man, my second place winner, guys, just looking at this, I got to go with my, my gut on this one. My, my second place is uh, Melanie and Taras. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. But man, look at this, guys. What I love about this couple is their posture. Look how tall he is and it doesn't look like he is overpowering her. They have the same amount of energy uh, that they're using, and it doesn't look like his energy is more powerful than hers. They match literally 100% as if they were partners, and that's what I loved about them. Even in this set right here, when you see them come out again on their second set, same thing. Like, this gentleman looks really tall, and she looks not as tall as him, obviously, but it doesn't look like they are disjointed or disconnected. Um, I will say most of the movements that they're doing are just basic swing moves. Sometimes people can shine really well just doing fundamental swing moves that we all know. And, you know, at minimum for me, that's what makes the third place person very special. But everybody in this one is third place, like I said. For, for me, this couple is second place. I just love the quality of their movement and particularly the posture of how the lead is working with the follower. Sometimes you'll have leaders that are really tall and they keep an upright posture and the followers are kind of bent over like this and the lines don't really seem to be parallel. They seem to be disjointed, but it seems like they're like this. 
And it's really complimentary when you watch them. It's really beautiful. Now, my first place couple, guys, I got to say, the first place couple for me looked almost the same as the second place couple in terms of quality of movement and control. What I, what I liked more about this couple I'm about to talk about is they just had a sense of like fire. There's a little bit more energy in their movements. And they had a couple of movements that were a bit more surprising that made me feel something as an audience member. So look at this, uh, Florent and Alice. These two, fantastic. I love it. I knew they were my favorites right here. Those, that footwork for both of them, you could see that they're matching. They're hitting the musicale and that slide right there was the nail in the coffin for me that differentiated this couple uh, with the other couples. Now their second one to come out here, again, they have crazy footwork. The posture is very similar to my second place couple, but that part right there, the musicality really worked. And now we're showing a little bit of contrast so I can see Alice a little more. They brought it back together. Florent did the little slide and you could really see some genuine joy with Alice's face. Like I, I feel like she was surprised as much as I was as an audience member with the leading decisions of Florent. So excellent job. They, they were my favorite couple out of all of them. I think everybody had something that was unique to them. That's what I appreciate about the advanced level. A lot of times dancers end up uh, abdicating who they are in terms of style and they go for something a bit more traditional or a bit more comfortable um, and, and you know a lot of dancers do that but I didn't see a lot of that here with these dancers some of these guys and, and gals have been around for a long time and I'm starting to see the maturation of their personalities and that's what I love about this one is I, I hope to see this particular level kind of be the next thing for the scene. I want to see them be the, the next artistic uh, leaders. It's fascinating to see how that process takes place. You have people who typically are really, really good and they're in the limelight and you have people that are kind of in the shadows behind them. And usually the advanced level tends to be that. And so this was really fun getting a chance to watch these dancers and see how far a lot of them have come, where they're at, and what they demonstrated right now on the floor was just fantastic. It was fantastic to watch. What did you guys think? Who was your favorite couple? Let me know in the comment section below. What did you like about them? And uh, what what, uh, what did you think? Just let me know. Um, if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my classes online. Take care.